All right, we're going to do million dollar picks for week six. We actually got kind of worked last week. We lost uh, $595,000, and I still feel good about all the picks. I got to be honest. <laughs> Even after um, losing. Down 398 for the season. That's not why House isn't on this week. I'm in New York City. I was going to say. It's just easier to do this all at once. But uh, so we had the Packers 26 and a half over. They somehow only scored 24 against yeah. the Rams, but they won. We had the Steelers. All they have to do is just stop Dallas on the last drive of the game. Somehow Dallas goes 15. So I kind of like the picks, but. By the way, I want to give you credit. You and Sal, that was amazing that you guys stayed up to the last snap oh on that God. one. Oh my God. I had to get up early I, the next I was day like, to take how the is he doing I'm this? like, how? I, I was like, how am I doing this? Heroic. I'm old. Uh, so million dollar picks, I actually kind of like this week. I want to go through some of the games and I'll give you veto power if something horrifies okay. you. The first one is the Bears in London. And mm -hmm. I, this would violate a don't bet on the London You've game. You've always said that. We did it's, win it's the in your manifesto. We won the Vikes last week, though. Okay. Against the Jets. Had to sweat it out. But the Bears are only one and a half in London against the Jags favorites. So I'll give thing, you a little wrinkle here. Well, the things that worry me about the Jags, they might have found something with Bigsby. Oh, Tank is good. And, it, and ETN's hurt. And I don't know if he's playing or not, but Bigsby's like, I know he's a big Kyle Brand angry runs oh, guy, yeah. but I, so the fear of going against them is that he's given them an identity. Lawrence is three and one in London. I'm willing to just punt on this, but what do, what do you think about this game? Little stuff that may play into a point spread change or whatever. The Bears got out there yesterday. They're settled. They're ready to go. They're going to play. They've got all their fans there. Peanut Tillman's there doing a fan rally, the whole thing. Jaguars were supposed to fly out today. Flight delayed several hours because of the hurricane. Oh, no. All sorts of travel issues. And they've got to be there for two straight weeks. So I, I don't know how that plays into it, but all they do is talk about body rhythm and everything needs to be set hour to hour on these London trips. And it's been, you know, sleep science experts. And they had a nice little curveball to start their two-week saunder to London. So I don't know if that helps Jaguars at all. Well, the question for me is, the Jags have the Pats next week. Could the Jags be three and four leaving London and we're all back in on the Absolutely. Jags? Absolutely. It's possible. Could the Jags be one and six leaving London? Absolutely. And it's like, and guess who's not getting yeah, on the plane with the Doug Jags? Peterson. Doug Peterson. He's hitching a ride. I just don't know what to expect. Here's the thing with the Bears. Defense has been like shockingly good. They've got good players on defense. There's, have you heard about this thing called Havoc Rate? No. What is Havoc Rate? Havoc Rate I is shouldn't the, laugh at it. I know it's probably being used by the teams. And I no, it's like good. I sound like a dismissive Havoc I, So rate. as you know, I'm... Whose thing is it? As you know, there's some... I, I'm not a win probability guy. Yep. There's some stupid ones. This is Warren Sharp had this, actually. Okay. Shout what out to Warren. Did he create it or he takes it from I just else? saw it on his Twitter okay. feed. But rate of plays for sacks, forced fumbles, interceptions, TFLs, and PBUs. So it's opportunistic... Teams yeah, just that capitalize things, on the opportunities. Yeah, good defensive things, uh, additive defensive things. Okay, our top five is the Giants, all right, the Browns, which shocked me. Okay, Vikings, 49ers, Bears. Okay, number five, and that kind of backs up what I'm watching with the eye test. Like they're better in the second half than the first half. Mm -hmm. I think they're like plus 31 in yeah. the second half, and it feels like they're getting a little bit better each week. I don't know if that's competition or not, but. Um, I, one of the things I love about this for them is the Jags defense 32nd against the pass. Yeah. I mean, they just 31st yards per play, 24 straight, 31st to Flacco, turnovers, yeah. they're 30th on third down. It's like another nice Caleb spot. So I wonder if this is like one more awesome Caleb week followed by the, the NFC North schedule coming. Yeah. Up. Yeah. So you like bears minus yeah, one. Now. Let's do it. Okay. Jaguars are historically good in London with Trevor Lawrence, though. That's the only thing. But I don't know, man. Be fun to root for. Let's go. Bears. So there's one other one that I kind of like for this. The Jaguars first half, Chicago for the game is plus 750. Oh, wow. So Jaguars are leading. So and then the little Bears Jags come back. and then the Bears come back. I'm not going to do it, but I, I, that jumped out to me. All right. Next one. Lions minus three in Dallas. Okay. Lions have and not I think the won Lion it in Dallas since 2011. Seven straight right. Cowboys wins. And the Lions are a little bit public. No Lawrence. Yeah. Parsons, maybe. Iffy. Even it's if they have him, know. he's. Yeah. Dallas. This is a weird one. Dallas is second passing. 31st running. Detroit's 27th against the pass, fourth against the run. Hmm. 
So you could say that's good for Dallas or that's terrible for Dallas. I just think they're going to throw the whole time. That guy, Jalen Tolbert, got picked up in every fantasy <laughs> league. He, he was well. really good. By the way, that touchdown catch Dude, he made was, was a great tough. catch. Fourth, fourth down. Great. Uh, Detroit six running and Dallas's defense is 24th against the run. Here, here's where I've landed on this one. So Dallas gave up 72 to New Orleans and Baltimore. It was nuts. And then they gave up 49 to Cleveland, New Orleans, or, or Cleveland, um, Pittsburgh, and the Giants. Yeah. Those are bad offenses. I think if you have a good offense, you could move the ball up and down all day on yeah. Dallas. Yeah. It's Mike and, Zimmer, after like four weeks, we're like, what the hell is this? And then they put the clamps on the Giants and, it's and like, the Steelers yeah, it's in the, their buildings. I like the fact they did it in the road, but you're right. There's so many injuries. You're banking on guys that we're not familiar with. And even I don't know. Sal was like, I don't know who half these dudes are. So they go against the Steelers who, Najee Harris, and that's it. They have the Nothing. fourth... Four string guy is getting reps for them. Friar Pickens, and that's it. Friar over the middle, that's it. it. There's a two hour lightning delay or whatever. No it's a fluky game. And I, I think I think this line should be higher. I think the Lions played an awesome game the last time we saw them. Yeah. And it's like this is what they were expected to be. Their offense was pouring it on and they got the bye. They got healthy. I like the Lions. They can Probably top three or four offensive line. No doubt. A Probably top three or line. four weapons. 100%. It's indoors. I really like the Lions. I, I just think this line should be like Lions by four and a half. The only thing that scares me is it's too obvious. Maybe Dak keeps the Cowboys sure. around. Sure. Maybe he's just flinging the ball. He was great on Sunday night. He was. When it mattered, he did have turnovers and the fumble and yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. True. Good point. Washington is plus six and a half. Is this the game of the week Baltimore. or do you go Dallas, Detroit? What game are you more excited for? Baltimore, Washington? I'm more excited for Washington Ravens because yeah, I think it could be. Cool. And it's funny, the over is over 50, which that's is always so a red flag. That's that means great. everyone's assuming it's going to be 37, 34, and it probably won't be. I had an interesting conversation with Scott Van Pelt of ESPN because he's like this DC. I said, is this a rivalry game or not? And I'd love to hear House's thoughts. Like, yeah. No, it, it's, it's it's not at all a rivalry. It's a should be a rivalry. It's not game. at all a rivalry. Yeah, it's not a rivalry. The two at franchises all. have only played seven times. Yeah. They've but never really been good at the never same time. Never been good time. at the same time. And like Colts fans from the Baltimore years of the Colts, like maybe had issues with the Reds. That's from the 80s and the 70s. So like this is this whole battle of the beltway. Yeah, sure, but it's not like this like rich rivalry between the two franchises. Right. Well, Baltimore's defense gave up 90 against Mahomes, Dak, and Burrow. I know. But then you could say, well, they only give up 10 to Josh Allen. That was a weird game. And I'm not sure the, the Bills are meant to play from behind like that with the receivers they have. Yeah, that again, that's the best I've seen any team play on Sunday yeah. night. They just blew them out. Do they bring that version or are they the version that Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase are going for 200? Ravens defense. Woeful. 31st against the pass. They've given up 25.2 points a game. Bottom eight in the red zone. Good against the run. I'm not sure that matters with Washington. So the question for me is, could Washington win the game? I think they could. Yes. If Washington's down double figures in the second half, could they get a garbage yes. time touchdown? Yes. I don't know why this line's six and a half. Is it six and a half? I think it's just the experience and the lack of competition against Washington. No one's seen the, the commanders haven't played a powerhouse team yet. So the flip side is it's like the KC New Orleans game on Monday night. We're yes. like, that's too many points. I'm taking New Orleans. And then yes. Casey's like, we're just going to. Yes. Casey the shit out of this yeah, team. Derek Lamar's Hart. playing amazing right yeah. now. Yeah. So could they be up 10? They have the ball and they have an eight minute drive to close the game. Sure. But I think Washington could win the game and I think it's too many points. I think it's going to be a fun game. I think it's going to be close. Feels like a three point game. I think it's going to be close. Next one is Chargers Broncos. This is in Denver. We should mention you love, uh, you love Sean Payton. I said it before the season on this podcast. I said, I don't know how. I don't know where it's coming from. They're a playoff team. I got mocked after they were 0-2. They look horrible against the Jets on offense. So when I didn't realize that Vance Joseph's defense was going to be like the 76 Steelers. They're the best defense in football right now. And Sertan and this Riley Moss might be the best cornerback duo. They're unbelievable. Um, and however they make it work, they figure it out. Denver, they're legit. Opponents third yards per play. That's how good Denver's been. Yeah. Um, their offense scored 15 points against Pittsburgh and the Jets combined. I know. But it's getting better. I mean, any rookie quarterback getting better. Harbaugh off a of bye. Okay. Chargers team that in week four just had a shitload of injuries. Yeah. Missing both tackles. 
James was suspended. Herbert was hurt. It had a shot. I was at that game too. And they Chargers hung Chiefs. around. Fourth, fourth quarter, they go for it on the fourth down, which it was 10-10. They didn't need to. And then the Chiefs snuck one out of there. So the Chargers are favored by two and a half in this game. And the instinct would be like, Denver's, what, that, I got to take the home dog. I really like the Chargers. Do you? I do. Okay. Here's why. Herbert, best player in the field. It's going to be ugly, 10-10, to 10-7, 13-10. But I'm willing to be talked out of it. Yeah, I, I just think that defense is is outstanding right now. And Knicks is getting better every week. And I feel like there's a good vibe and good juice with the Broncos. And they're playing at home? Right. Yeah. So you would stay away? I would stay away. But what do I know? <laughs> you know what's interesting? <laughs> that for my analysis. No, but you know what's interesting about this The defense this is so good. And like... Lad McConkey had one of the great touchdown catches of the year against the Chiefs in the back of the end zone, and they totally forgot to go to him. And it's like, I don't know if they're utilizing Herbert even in a way that's beneficial because he hasn't had this. I thought with Harbaugh, it was going to well, be Well, Palmer whole, was hurt. Palmer was now hurt. Now Palmer's back. Sure. Yeah. No, no. I'm waiting to see this Greg Roman Harbaugh offense that everyone's marveling about. Down. Down, down on, on that. Down on that. Down. Down on the Chargers. Can I give you the uh, LA defensive stats? Yes. They've allowed 50 points total this season. No, they're very good. Against Vegas, Carolina, Pittsburgh, and KC. So why is Denver going to move the ball on them at all? They might not. They might not. I think their defense is very opportunistic, and they'll do what they've done all season. I like it at minus two and a half. I don't like it at minus three. And I think this Denver team, if we're just going to go backwards, the Jets game was absolutely stupid. The weather was <laughs> awful, and they played like shit, and if the Jets just make a field goal, they lose. And last week, they're down 10 nothing to the Raiders early, and then Sertan gets the pick and six. Minchu and Minshew throws just a horrible pass, running to his left, Kinda. just wings it, loses his job. So now I have to be excited about Denver. Maybe maybe this is the week they come back to the— Yeah, sure. I might do it. I might not listen to you. Sean Payton, I trust. I know you trust. Vance Joseph, Listen, I trust. I have the Broncos over. I'm I'm also in on Sean Payton, but they were they're over. How great five those and uniforms wins. look! Great, love those old school unis. It was funny when everyone misidentified the '70s Broncos yeah. thing as a John Elway. It's I like, know, come no, on, no, guys. guys that's I know I'm crush. old, but come on, guys. You're right. It was come a on, '77 guys. team. They were on, come on and guys. everyone's like, John "Oh, Elway see got that there water." I'm like, "Come on, guys, see that water, guys." Let's do better. Just quickly, Colts Titans Colts. Favored still, one and a half in Tennessee. Stay away. It's a stay away. Yeah, and AFC I think AFC South, I have no idea. How about both Souths are stay away? So stay away, all of them. I don't, this line, it didn't add up to me though. What's the Saints? What's what, Spencer uh, Rattler? What do we got with that one? Well, uh, that's coming. But Pittman's out. Yeah. Um, Flacco. No, they came back and they do what they do. They come all the way back, but they, you know, they, they won that game and then they, you know, they, they didn't. That didn't make sense. Here's so one. We're almost going to win that game, but they couldn't put it away. You're not going to believe I like this one, but me here. Giants plus three and a half against Cincy. The Bengals. Yeah. Um, the Giants start out, they lose 28 6 to Minnesota. They lose by three to Washington, a game that they probably win with at, a field goal kicker. And you look back and you're like, pretty good game. Graham Gano gets hurt on a kickoff. They beat the Browns 21-15, but it was really 28-15. to Singletary was going yep. in for a touchdown and fell down. So that uh, was a uh, blowout. That was the neighbor's game. He went nuts. They lose to Dallas 20-15 on a Thursday night in a game they usually could have won. Neighbors gets concussed right, right at out. the end. And they played fucking awesome. They were so good against, against the Seattle Seahawks. Seahawks. So good. And now they're playing the Cincy team that, remember the Havoc rate from before? Tell me what. 32nd. They suck at Havoc. Terrible Havoc rate. They're terrible at Havoc. And then. You know, Giants defense. Yeah, the Thibodeau stuff is concerning. Neighbors, we're not sure what he's going to do. Like, those are, but Dexter Lawrence is playing as good as any defensive player in football this year. They're in the top half of the league. Shane Bowen, scoring third down, first down, passing yards. He's not getting buzzed yet as a head coach. Shane Bowen, the defense for the Giants has been outstanding this year. The Bengals defense. Literally and, to everything is so bottom confounding. three. It's confounding. It's a lot of the same guys. Yeah. Luana Rumo is a great defensive coach. Like, it doesn't make sense. And they cannot stop How anything. about they have nothing? They have no players. It, it, it's the 30th rushing, 30th against Rush. I feel like the Giants, could, yeah. I don't know. Tyrone Tracy. This line feels a point too high to me, and I like the Giants. It's funny. It's like we freak out. They lost 28-6 at home. They got booed in their home opener because they're wearing it. turned out opener. Minnesota, we had them and number now, three in our list. And Minnesota's 5-0 and oh, and like a very good team. And Van Ginkle's doing pick sixes against the Jets also. And if the Giants come out of this thing and they're three wins and four losses, it's like, all right, they're a good team. They're fine. And Dimes, 
look good the last he's two weeks. Back. He's been pretty consistent. Dimes is back. I'm buying dimes. Happy stock. for dimes. Well, I have one more that I like, but we're staying away from Steelers, Raiders, Texans, Pats, the NFC South, the two Falcons, Panthers, Bucks, Saints. I'm out. Yeah. Did you see Carter Rattler swung the line by six points? Yeah. It seemed it, aggressive. It seemed like a lot. Are we sure he Carr is worth six points to a spread? No doubt. Uh, yeah, I was surprised. Also, Bucks minus three and a half in New Orleans. They, that's a fucking stay away. But the Bucks have been there since I get Monday. It. Bucks flew out because of the hurricane. Like, right. You know, I talked to my friend who works for the Bucks. I'm like, is your house all right in Tampa? He's like, I think so. He's like, I'm currently at Dave and Buster's for the third straight day with Oof. my kids in New Orleans. Like, that's like a full camping trip they're on. Eagles minus eight and a half. For now, it's up to nine and a half against Cleveland. I'm staying away. I, Philly I, should not yeah. be favored by that many against Out of any the buy, team. The do they rally? I don't know. And Packers Cardinals. That's a fun game. It's in the Vegas zone. It's five and a half. I'm out. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't trust either team. So then the last game we we started the podcast with Bills Jets. Jets plus two and a half. Are you around Monday? Come with me to that. Let's go to that. I'm I'm You're long gone. gone. Long <laughs> you won't, you won't long see me gone. again. The only thing that scares me about this is well, really nothing. New coach theory. But the Buffalo's defense, they suck against the run, and the Jets are last against the yeah, run. But, the Jets but that have good makes me think, yeah. could the Jets, this is the week they get the run and game And Downing's going. coming in. He's going to make a statement. It's going to be, we're going to show you that we still have a great running game. And, like, I have these two running backs. We're going to use them. So would you go plus two and a half, or would you just do Jets money line plus 120? I will do the latter. That's just I think the Jets in. are going to win. Okay. I might add. Again, them. narrative guy. I really like the it's plus not two. Not my money. Plus two and a half, though. I'm getting two extra sure, points. Go for it. Last thing before we do million dollar picks, I'm just going to throw this at you. Okay. They have a little 30% profit boost token for, okay. for a touchdown. All right. Anytime touchdown in a game. Terry McLaurin plus 170. What are your thoughts? I like it. Who would you who would you go for a touchdown if not him? Anyone in the league? Yeah. Tucker Kraft. Tucker Craft against the Cardinals. Let's let's look, let's look Jordan up our Love's guy. guy. Let's look up our guy Tucker Craft. Jordan Love went to him in every big moment last week. Only two to one. <laughs> so everyone's been, <laughs> there's been terrible Kraft odds. Action. All right, back to McLaurin. McLaurin. All right, McLaurin. McLaurin. So we'll yeah. we'll throw a little on him plus one seventy. All right, filling in for Joe House this week because we're in New York City. Our guy Peter Schrager. Let's go. So much success over the years. Week six million dollar picks. We are down three hundred ninety eight thousand dollars for the season. We're about to change. That. Let's go. We're putting two hundred thousand on the following: Bears minus one and a half in London against the Jags. Okay. You're believing in Caleb Williams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. You I like, like it. the Bears? I like it. I'm also like Jags weird travel stuff. I don't yeah. like that. Okay. The C words getting six and a half against Baltimore. We think. This is a three-point game. They might win it outright, and even if it goes badly, cheap touchdown time. No doubt. Washington, plus six and a half. This is the only one you didn't like, so we'll see if you were right or wrong. Mm -hmm. Chargers, minus two and a half in Denver. Here's my case. I just think Denver's offense will not be able to move the ball at all against the Chargers. Harbaugh, Payton, coaches cancel out, and I got Bo Nix against Justin Herbert, and I think the Chargers need the game. It's fair. Also, Broncos beat the Jets by one, and they win last that stupid game last week. <laughs> they played well. <laughs> Their well, defense is amazing. They, they, Gardner Minshew was just, just whipping it to the other Fine. team. Lions, Cowboys. Lions, Lions minus three in Dallas. Sorry, Sal. I think this line's going to be four and a half by game time. We're grabbing it now. Lions off a bye. And then we're taking both New York teams because it's the week in New York sports. This is no, it's also your week in New York. It's, well, it's my yeah. week in New York. The Mets, the Yankees, the Liberty, the, the Liberty, Let's Liberty, Liberty game one, the Knicks, just great stuff happening. Uh, Giants plus three and a half against a Cincy defense that is uh, potentially historically bad. Yeah, which is shocking. And then Jets, we'll just take the points, the plus two and a half. Okay. Monday night against Buffalo. How does it feel to have a perfect slate? It, it, it feels incredible. <laughs> Let's win 200000 on all those. And then last but not least, little FanDuel profit boost token, yeah. 30%. Terry McLaurin, plus 170 to score in that crazy Baltimore-Washington game that we feel like, if Shoot it doesn't out. have a lot of points, we'll have fireworks. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. Not a rivalry fun. game. Those are the million-dollar yeah. picks for week six.